Viewers, the Lok Sabha's Ethics Committee has conducted its first hearing on the cash for query scandal involving TMC MP Mahua Moitra, BJP MP Nishikant Dubey, who assumed the role of a whistleblower initially, and advocate J. Anant Dehadrai, who Mahua Moitra described as a jilted ex, appeared before the committee to present oral evidence. Moitra has been accused of providing a login details to businessman Darshan Hirandanani to post questions to the government in exchange for expensive gifts. That's the allegation. Hiranandani has uh, confirmed the same in a sworn affidavit before this very panel. Beyond the breach of parliamentary rules, this has raised questions over the breach of national security as Hiranandani is a Dubai-based tycoon. The committee has summoned Mahua Moitra on October 31st at 11 a.m. to answer to some of these charges. Meanwhile, the NIC is likely to submit its report on the logins in connection to Moitra's accounts in the next couple of days. While the TMC MP claims Vendetta Politics for raising questions against the government, the TMC has not backed her so far. Let's open this up, viewers. I have with me the BJP Sanju Varma, the national spokesperson, and also a TMC sympathizer, Mr. Yeah. Tosif Khan, who stays on with us. Very quickly to you, Mr. Khan. Straightforward question. The TMC has not come out in defense of Mahua Moitra, number one. Number two, this story is a grave one because an easily verifiable fact like login taking place from another geolocation would prove whether Mahua Moitra is guilty of abetting in a breach of national security. Do you believe that the TMC's decision not to back her and the gravity of the charges are linked? No, the, the TMC has taken a very right approach. The matter concerns uh, with the privileges and rights of the uh, member of parliament. And uh, she is very well uh, you know, capable of uh, clarifying her positions and defending all the charges alle alleged against her. And uh, uh, now she has been called before the committee and she will go and present her version. Uh, we cannot ignore the fact that uh, all of this uh, is started from uh, her jilted ex, as she has chosen to describe him, Mr. Jay uh, Dehadrai. And, uh, you know, it is a, it is a very established uh, norm that in equity, if you go uh, before any forum, uh, and especially in this case also, it applies when... Uh, uh, someone is going before the uh, ethics committee again with a complaint against a member of parliament, then he must come with clean hands. Okay. When I say clean hands, then it means that you must not have any other motive, any other hidden motive. Now, in this case, clearly, it seems that there is the, the people have not come with clean hands. He is an jilted ex. Uh, he, he had nothing to do with BJP. Now he is seen hobnobbing with BJP. MP all the time, and it is it. There is political angle to it. Okay. Uh, Fine. So and just and, and quickly, I just want to ask you, MP. Uh, Tosif Khan, you said yeah. I'm just bringing you in one second. Uh, Tosif Khan, just a quick clarification because you said that oh, TMC believes that she is an MP appearing before an August uh, parliamentary panel. Of course, that's true, and she's capable of defending herself. But isn't it strange that every other political party has ignored that red line? has willingly come out and spoken in her defense, but uh, the TMC hasn't. Just very quickly, sir. Because she's a member of TMC okay. party. Right. Fair enough. And, uh, so not, other, not other, other MPs, other politicians have come out and said she's the victim of a witch hunt except for her own party. And we're expected to think that that is because no, they, a are, senior, they are... No, a senior TMC they are, member, a senior they are, TMC leader also are, has spoken in his favor, okay. in her so favor. They are, so senior, they are basically... A member of they yes. are basically uh, of respecting the Mariada of Parliament. Okay, very Bengal. quickly. Let me bring in the BJP national spokesperson, Sanju Varma. This is an orchestrated witch hunt, says Mr. Khan. Okay. Rahul, I will need at least two minutes, you know, yeah, because yeah. you keep Take saying very quickly, very quickly, yes, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just have this to say. Point number one. You know, let's be very clear that the PK Bansal Committee, way back in 2005, had disqualified 11 MPs 
out of which 10 were from the lok sabha and one was from the rajya sabha right. and at that time the congress said that if the ethics committee or the privilege committee decides that mps need to be disqualified or removed or suspended baat khatam so point number 1 the ethics committee under vijay sonkar if it decides or if the matter again goes to the privilege committee there is a hearing on the 31st of october the ethics committee has sought inputs from the uh, home ministry as well then let us understand that we need to respect parliamentary procedures you can't raise a finger and say are the ethics committee is headed by vijay sonkar of the bhartiya janata party and they have an axe to grind no sir we have no axe to grind because mahua maitra has not covered herself in glory and i'll tell you why point number 1 you keep referring to jay anand dehadrai as a jilted lover i say forget the jilted lover bit the fact that he is also a respectable advocate at the supreme court of india forget that for a minute my point is that when jay anand dehadrai categorically said that mahua maitra was blackmailing him to withdraw his complaint with the cbi and when Mahua Maitra's counsel Gopal Sankara Narayanan was asked is this true was Mahua Maitra your client forcing Jay Anand Dehadrai to forgo his complaint with the CBI against Ms Maitra Gopal Sankara Narayanan Mahua Maitra's lawyer said yes she was arm twisting Jay Anand Dehadrai when is the last time you heard that a member of parliament's own legal counsel actually withdraw from the case citing extremely embarrassing circumstances okay. point number 1 and just give me 30 seconds more point number 2 you know the moment darshan hiranandani came up with his affidavit i remember bahu maitra said what is the use of this affidavit it just has a signature on a blank piece of paper if it is not notarized it does not have legal sanctity mm-hmm. within 24 hours Darshan Hiranandani notarized his affidavit which means a notarized affidavit clearly saying that Mahua Maitra breached parliamentary processes by sharing her login and password with Mr Hiranandani who then accessed it from foreign soil based in Dubai and gave questions on Adani to Mahua Maitra and she asked these questions okay. with a quid pro quo of wait a minute not simply getting a bag or perfumes i don't care about her louis vuitton bag or her hermes or henry right, right. i am i am you know certainly not impressed by the fact that this lady who okay. keeps screeching and howling like a banshee well viewers the time is up on the debate the matter is now no, before fair enough fair enough the the matter is now before the panel let's see what the panel has to say 30th October is an important date we'll be there of course i leave it at this